A town hall forum is helping shed light on K-12 educational issues. State Senate candidates from District 8 went head-to-head -head answering questions from parents, public school leaders, and other educators. The candidates are Republican Bill Rabin and Democrat David Redwine. The candidates covered issues from dropout rates, educational cuts due to the economy, and the teacher-to-student ratio. The group wanted to know how they plan to reduce classroom size while still maintaining budget cuts. I would say let's cut the cash out of the university system. Let's get some more of that money that we're already collecting, that we're already spending on education. Let's put it in, uh, in the classroom so that we don't have to spend $35 million a year teaching our college freshmen how to read and how to add and how to subtract. We would go into the educational system along with the other programs of state government, and we would surgically look at uh, how we cut to things and programs that either aren't doing what they were intended to do or are no longer necessary. District 8 includes Brunswick, Pender, and Columbus counties. Candidates from District 9 also took the stage to cover the education system. The candidates are Republican Tom Goolsby and Democrat Dr. Jim Lutze. District 9 includes New Hanover County. The candidates answered questions about tuition tax credit, test scores, and lifting the cap on charter schools. We can focus on the needs of specific groups of children whether they're minority groups, whether they're special needs groups, whether they're accelerated groups, whatever they may be. And the beautiful thing is, charter schools are held accountable. If they don't produce, they get closed. So I'm a strong supporter of, of charter schools. I think they do a great job, but I am not at this point. As I said, this is a terrible time to raise taxes, and this is a terrible time to take money out of the public school budget. Educators from local high schools, middle, elementary, charter, and private schools also participated in the forum. Reminder that Election Day is Tuesday, November 2nd.